What is immunotherapy? Until then, cancer was treated by surgery and curative treatments such as radiotherapy and chemotherapy. Recently, two new types of treatment have been added to the fight against cancer. Immunotherapy and precision medicine, targeted therapy. These are often associated with curative treatments and surgery. What is the principle of immunotherapy? Treatments will modify and stimulate the patient's natural defenses so that they recognize tumor cells, also known as cancer cells, and eliminate them. It just so happens that our body has its own natural defense system, which knows how to make the difference between our healthy cells, the self, with outside cells, dangerous intruders, the non-self. This natural system is our immune system. It is the police of our body. It patrols, and when it perceives this natural system is intervenes to eliminate it. To understand immunotherapy, you need to know a little bit about how the immune system works. The first thing to know is that it is made of different types of cells, including macrophages, the tecular cells, of the antigen-presenting cells, APC, they are the identity checkers, and many more. These APC controllers patrol our bodies looking for intruders, non-self. They work like this. They inspect suspicious cells. When they detect intruders, they trigger the alarm, multiply T8 killer cells that block intruders, and eliminate them so that they cannot grow and cause disease. If the system works well, he attacks only intruders and causes little disturbance to the cells of the self. Cancer cells come from the individual who is diseased. They are therefore very similar to our normal cells. They are altered self. And it's because they're so similar that the cells that defend us identify many of them as part of the self when they are part of the alter self. And consequently, it becomes difficult to manufacture and use treatment that would only lead to the removal of these cancer cells without touching the healthy cells. This is a goal of immunotherapy. It is important to know that there are several different types of immunotherapy. Side effects exist. There is a risk in some patients and for some cancers that the immune system will attack the healthy cells of the self. On the other hand, it has been found that immunotherapy is effective against a certain number of cancers only and in certain patients, one out of four for the moment. Clinical trials are necessary to control the use of future routes of immunotherapy with or without other treatments. These immunotherapy treatments are also very specific for each patient. Among the avenues of study are the following. Improvement of the results obtained by using immunotherapy alone as a treatment. The association with different therapies such as radiotherapy, chemotherapy, hormonal therapy and their synergies. A better knowledge of the patient's immune system. Important to note that in children and adolescents, the immune system is in a specific phase of development that is not that of an adult. Research must therefore be different. In a nutshell, immunotherapy is a set of treatments that uses our immune system to fight cancer. These treatments are combined with other therapies. It is a hopeful therapeutic avenue, but it does not work for all patients and all cancers. There may be significant side effects. It therefore requires a great deal of additional research, particularly and especially in the case of pediatric cancers. Monoclonal antibodies. Antibodies are Y-shaped molecules from the protein family. Our body produces billions of them and each type of antibody is associated with a specific action. If an antibody finds its target, it attaches itself to it. In some cases, it sends out a signal to the immune system to provoke a reaction from it. 
This reaction may be a call for cells to intervene to destroy the intruder that has been identified. In the laboratory, we are now able to produce antibodies that carry out a single specific action. We also know how to multiply these antibodies in large quantities. These are called monoclonal antibodies. Mono meaning one action and clone because they are multiplied identically. Cancer cells protect themselves from killer T cells by slowing down or blocking their attacks. These are called immunosuppressive mechanisms. They suppress the immune system and limit its capacity for defense. Here is an example of a blocking mechanism. They activate the PD-1 program of the T cells. What is PD-1? PD-1 is a program that deactivates the T cells. This program is normally controlled by our immune system. It stops the activation of T cells preventing the development of autoimmune diseases where the body attacks its own healthy cells. For T cells to be effective against cancer cells, their attack must not be blocked or slowed down by the cancer cells. To help the T cells do their job, two monoclonal antibodies can be used. One that prevents the PD-1 program activation and another that prevents the cancer cell from reacting. The blocking mechanism must be stopped so that the tumor can be attacked effectively. Doctors understand that the inhibition of the immune system must be prevented so that it can fight against the tumor. Researchers have identified various antibodies that can be used to either activate or block different programs to stimulate our cells. We must now find out how to use them effectively. Bispecific antibodies the bispecific antibody is produced in the laboratory. It's a bit like a link that is designed with two hooks on each side. One hook binds to a cancer cell and the other to a killer cell. Once in place, this attachment triggers actions that eliminate the cancer cells, such as calling in other killer cells and releasing a product that kills the cancer cell. This technique has good results for some blood cancers and research on different attachment combinations is currently in progress. Let's talk about CAR T cells. CAR T cells stands for Chimeric Antigen Receptor T cells, which is another technique used to treat cancer. It works by genetically modifying cells. This modification of the cells is called a chimera, in reference to the mythological creature composed of the parts of several different animals. In this case, an additional component is artificially added to an existing cell. This therapy first removes the T-lymphocyte cells, also known as T-killer cells, from the patient and then modifies them in a laboratory. As these cells were taken from the patient, each CAR T cell produced is specific to that person. The added component will depend on the disease and the intended target. For example, the CD19 of cancer cells is targeted for lymphoma and other components will be targeted for other diseases. This component is a monoclonal antibody. Its target is the CD19 antigen, which is complementary to it. A bit like a key that fits one specific lock. The genetic code of the cell is modified to incorporate this new weapon. A bit like updating a computer program. The added monoclonal antibody will act as a harpoon detector that recognizes and attaches itself to a specific target. And hey, presto! We have a super killer cell. They multiply, then they are injected back into the patient. For some leukemia patients, using CAR T cells treatments gives very good results. The super harpoon detector allows the new T cells to spot cancer cells. They alert all the T cells and destroy the identified cells. Therapeutic vaccine. Vaccines can be used to treat cancer. This may seem strange because vaccines are generally used on healthy people to prevent them from getting sick. It is a preventive treatment. 
This type of vaccine exists for some cancers, including cervical cancer and seven other conditions. All of these cancers are caused by a group of viruses called HPV or human papillomavirus that infects cells and causes cancer. Immunotherapy is a treatment that uses vaccines to treat cancer patients that are already sick. It is a therapeutic treatment. Cancer cells are produced by our own cells from the self. They are what we call altered self, as they are very close to self. The immune system tolerates them and sometimes finds it difficult to identify them. We need to teach the immune system to recognize the right target, so back to school it is. Whatever the disease, the principle of vaccination is always the same. Educate the immune system and teach it to effectively target cancerous cells. First, it needs to recognize the target, the antigen of cancer cells. Then, we need to train our cells to produce the right antibody, the harpoon detector to target this antigen. Yeah, we are ready. A number of vaccination strategies and techniques exist to teach our immune system to recognize the right target to attack, whether this be for cancer or for other diseases. Thank you.